having a little switch up this week. So this is a what I eat in a week video starting right now. Show you things that definitely don't look presentable and perfect, but taste absolutely delicious. And I guess it's a good way to show you just how very flexible, I don't wanna use the word balanced because I might not be balanced to someone, but in my eyes, I feel like I just have a very balanced approach to food and eating. So I went training and I popped to Aldi. I got some sourdough. I really like their sourdough. This is just their white sourdough. I've got some avocados as well. You can always count on me to have some beetroot in my fridge cooked up. Look at these beautiful eggs. Look at how bright these yolks are. If I want an extra hit of protein, I sometimes add some cottage cheese in with my scrambled eggs or I'll just like spread it on the toast. last thing you saw me throw on top was some pumpkin seeds. I've been doing seed cycling consistently for the, like the last two months, along with some other uh, protocols, which have really helped massively for the menstrual phase of my cycle. First month that I started doing seed cycling, along with, which I think is like the biggest thing, the biggest factor in just improving the overall feeling of my period, um, the castor oil packs and I was hearing about them for a long time and I can't believe it took me so long to actually try them and I don't know which one's working I have a feeling it's the castor oil packs but whatever I'm doing is working right now let me know if you've ever used castor oil packs and what benefits you saw this afternoon I thought it was going to just be a quick I'm going to pop out my brother needed help with something and I thought it would be about maybe an hour and I was ended up being there all day and I just kind of snacked on some walnuts, had a little bit to eat, which I'm gonna show you right now, <laughs> exactly what I had. Um, so yeah, I just got in. When you live in London, you get in. The first thing you gotta do, well, for me anyways, is take these clothes off and jump in the shower. I'm always speaking about my steamer because it probably gets most use in my kitchen. My steamer literally just sits on my hob. I'm gonna steam the tender stem and the broccoli tonight, whack the salmon in the oven, boil some potatoes and just have the radish raw. That is the plan. I'm feeling very tired. I'm actually not in the mood to cook. Once I get going, I'll be fine. I know that I'll feel better than ordering a delivery. <laughs> I left out really early this morning because I had to run somewhere. Now I'm in the West End and I have had, what I have, I had one egg this morning, one boiled egg before I left and a little bit of fruit. I'm gonna head to join the juice. salmon or a bit of chicken or maybe like defrost something from the freezer maybe if I want to cook some mince or something like that basically I just like to think ahead like what am I going to feel like tomorrow it's actually feel like a meal meal like a proper meal and I've been craving do you remember my salmon pasta do you remember that creamy salmon pasta with like a coconut sauce which is so delicious I'm basically going to do that but with chicken I've got coconut milk some peppers spring onions which I kind of need using and I've got a bag of spinach and I don't know what else, actually, I need to check that recipe out. I'm gonna look at my own recipe and get some inspiration right now.
use salmon or chicken for this recipe is always going to be incredible. The original creamy salmon pasta recipe is in my ebook, Home Cook Wonders. Never ever disappoints. I'm so glad I felt inspired to make this today. I forgot how good it was, oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna make something really quick for breakfast this morning, something that will keep me full, but that takes no time. I've got a little bit of chia seed pudding and I'm gonna have like a fried egg on toast or a couple of fried eggs on toast. I'm not the most consistent with supplements. Like sometimes I just, it just slips my mind. But this morning I am taking all my supplements because I've made a mental note to do it. A new addition to my regime have been these Vital Superfood supplements. They are only available in the US. So I was very lucky that the founder of the company actually sent me some. So this one is the Alkaline Superfood Raw Vegetable Blend. It has kale, arugula, zucchini, squash, tomatoes, um, basil, dandelion greens, oregano. This one smells so amazing because of the basil. Literally the purest ingredient. And then there's another one. This is the Vital Alkaline Superfoods Raw Fruit Blend. So it has blueberry, raspberry, everything's organic by the way, blackberry, mango, cantaloupe, lime peel, and raspberry leaf. If you're in the US, definitely check these out. I'll link all the information below. often every time I have a fried egg I think why don't I eat fried eggs more often you've probably noticed a theme in this video or you will notice the theme as I'm showing you what I eat this week but you'll see that I just don't skip breakfast it's a really really important meal for me I have to have something that's satiating or something that's not going to give me a crazy sugar spike um, so I take my breakfast very, very seriously. For lunch, I had this chicken salad. It was a combination of things that I was filming and I also had some leftovers in the fridge. So I just kind of combined everything together. One thing about me is I'm gonna plan ahead. So usually on a Sunday, I like to cook like a big pot of chickpeas or butter beans. I'll also have some quinoa that's cooked up because I just think it's a really easy way just to throw meals together and enjoy a really healthy, tasty, something that makes me feel good type of lunch. For dinner, I'm really feeling like one of my favorite things at the moment. I love egg fried rice and this recipe just came about by accident. I had some leftover quinoa and I put together this egg fried quinoa. It was amazing and it's been on my mind ever since. This was a few weeks ago, so I'm gonna prepare it for dinner. Let me know in the comments if you like the look of this and you want like a full proper recipe. I did make a big batch of quinoa at the beginning of the week, but I have been using it in a few things and it's finished. So I'm just cooking up a little bit more. If possible, I always prefer to leave my quinoa to soak for at least an hour. I personally think it cooks a lot better. It definitely won't need as much water. I'm gonna give this quinoa a wash and a rinse, put it to cook and put this meal together. Peppers, courgettes, carrots, spring onions. I'm probably gonna throw some red onions, some ginger, garlic. That is everything that we are working with right now. I'm gonna turn this quinoa down and put the lid on. <laughs> first time I made it. Got a lot to do today and tomorrow, but I'm still gonna try and film what I eat for you. But I've just, yeah, the pressure's on for me. I'm gonna be doing a lot of filming, editing from home. I just cut into, you can see behind me, I've got a watermelon. I'm looking for some black seeds and I can't see any. <laughs> 
thing I love to do in the morning is just make up a big pot of tea and I just sip on it throughout the day. And I've really been into my dandelion at the moment. Dandelion and Tulsi, which is holy basil, are like the two main herbs that I've been using. I'm gonna steep a big pot of dandelion tea. Ah, there we go. with a little bit of pesto i can't even call this an omelette it's more like a i don't know in between omelette and frittata my breakfast is ready i'm actually gonna warm um they're called piadinas but i love them <laughs> i've spoken about them before i'm gonna warm one up and have it with my with my eggs so i've got my eggs and i've got some flatbreads piadinas and then this carrot it's like a fermented carrot thing it's from a brand called tickles pickles it's fermented carrot with dill i believe but it's really delicious i'm gonna put the name on the screen because i can't remember it right now i'm gonna be filming this tempeh roasted carrot and lentil salad i've really got into tempeh recently i tried it a long time ago like i'm talking like over 10 years ago and i did not like it at all but i decided to give it another go and we're getting on just fine. I'm gonna pan cook some tempeh, we're gonna roast the carrots, make this really gorgeous lentil salad, which can definitely be prepped beforehand. Lots of olive oil, lots of goodness, put some feta on top with the tempeh. Obviously the feta will be optional. I'm gonna get on with filming this and I'll show you the finished product once it's all plated and ready to devour. This tempeh lentil and roasted carrot salad was absolute perfection. The tempeh was pan cooked until golden and I made a really yummy lentil base. Everything thrown together in this salad just works so well. Add some feta on top, oh yes. A day of filming for YouTube. The last thing I wanna do is start cooking. I'm gonna take a little shortcut tonight. I'm gonna be having this chicken bone broth with ginger and greens. I just throw it in the pan. And then I add some extra things. It's got a little bit of chicken, but definitely not enough protein for me. I'm gonna add some chickpeas, some cooked chickpeas in. I usually throw some like cooked sweet potato in there as well. And then some rice noodles, just to kind of like fill it out, make it like a proper meal. I might even put an egg in there, throw some kimchi on top, sesame seeds, making it sound a lot more complex than it actually is. It's really not, it's really easy. I'm just gonna throw it together. Let's do it. <laughs> I know it's middle of the summer, but I still love warm foods. I still, oh, give me a broth, give me a soup. Any time of year, I'm there, I'm there. So it's a Saturday, you already know the deal. It's a farmer's market day. I'm gonna go and check out this produce. It's the juiciest time of the year. My favorite time, my absolute favorite time of the year from now until end of September, it just gets better. So let's go check it out. Hi, oh, I'm gonna take, oh, okay, yeah. Those, can I take three? Yes. yes. And I don't really break too easy. Yes. since I was about 18. It's pretty much been the same. I never get tired of the farmer's market. I still have that same passion and excitement when I go every Saturday, especially during the summer. This time is so special. Going to my local farmer's market from a young age has been very impactful in just how I view food, how I understand food, how I approach food, how I cook with food. I know not everyone has access to a farmer's market, but if you do, Maybe you just don't know about it. Maybe you could just do a little bit of research. If you do have access to one, just go and have a walk around. Just kind of like look at the vegetables and just get a feel for food in its very natural state. I'm not even really a cucumber person, but in the summer, when you try a real cucumber, mm, I've got some leftover steamed greens. So I'm just gonna have those and I'm gonna put together like a little yogurt bowl. love these oat puffs they're the honey oat ones from rude health 
Blitz pumpkin seeds that I spoke about earlier. I just keep them in the fridge in like a glass container. Little bit of bee pollen. I just threw over more pumpkin seeds and bee pollen. You could definitely use a coconut yogurt if you, obviously a lot of people don't do well with dairy. Just being mindful of having a protein rich breakfast has been basically life changing for me. So yeah, I more than often, if I'm gonna have something like a yogurt bowl, I'll opt for a Greek yogurt, but everyone do their thing. So from the farmer's market, I grabbed some Rocket. You know how I get down with leafy greens every single day. I also grabbed some courgettes, my favorite, favorite time of the year because courgettes are in season. So I grabbed some different types of beetroot. So regular kind of like red beetroot and then golden beetroot. It's stone fruit season. And I was told that this is the last week for cherries. So I grabbed a couple of punnets and I also grabbed some plums. I got some cherry tomatoes. I grabbed some potatoes. So some pink fur potatoes and then these purple potatoes. I'm not sure of the name, but they're the ones that I used early in the week and they they are so delicious. The sweetest, most crunchiest munch too that I've ever tasted. I picked up this amazing beetroot and radish kimchi and I also grabbed some eggs, which I do every time I go to the farmer's market because they are a staple in my kitchen. I was still hungry after that yoga bowl. Who was I fooling? So I put together this little brunch plate, zero presentation. It tasted so good with all of that fresh ingredients from the farmer's market. Some roasted potatoes. I boiled a couple of eggs, kimchi, steamed some munch too, sliced some fresh tomatoes, threw some basil on top had this way for after. Later on in the day, kind of like early evening, I met up with a friend and we went for a really, really lovely dinner, which I thoroughly enjoyed. I didn't get much footage, um, but it was good. It's Sunday morning. I am gonna go and have a little workout. I'm gonna head to the gym in a minute, but before I go, I'm going to put together, I say this is kind of like my go-to smoothie, just lots of berries, whatever berries I have. Let's put the smoothie together and head to the gym. Go for a little workout, then I've got lunch at one, so. I've got to make it snappy because it's already nine o'clock. a restaurant called Prima. It was divine. Every single dish just blew my mind. These cream tomatoes on toast were absolute perfection. This hake peppers and olive oil mash. Oh my God, honestly, no words. We had mozzarella with peaches. I think they were roasted. My dad was a little thrown with the mozzarella and peaches, but he ate it and he loved it. It was definitely a hit for everybody. Dardish for me was this polenta and this stuffed courgette. It was stuffed with lamb. We all did sharing plates in the beginning. Then we realized, no, we actually need to order some individual plates as well because this was too good to share i needed my own i ordered this as like my main meal it was heavenly one of the key things that i love about summer is that when you go to a good restaurant you're most likely going to have a tiramisu option on the menu and i was not disappointed the tiramisu was delicious so there we have it most of what i have had to eat this week it's been so long since i've shared this style of content so let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this if you would like to see more of this style of video it's a bit different from the recipes i really hope by me sharing this video sharing these ideas that something will spark within you even if it's just to prepare one meal this week maybe take a lunch on the go with you it is fine to start small and just gradually build up your confidence in the kitchen and just get very familiar with that space leave me a comment if you have anything to ask me, head over to my website to check out all of my ebooks, all of my recipe ebooks over there. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.